20 Papa Take Two, Apple Mark. Ah, fairy tale romance. You just know from the beginning the prince and the princess were meant to be together. Well, that's the problem. Yeah, because in this fairy tale, it's not like that most of the time. Come on, the one thing that makes everyone crazy is love. True. But as they say, before you meet the handsome prince, you've got to kiss a lot of, you know. <laughs> really? OK, I'll bet the rest of you totally saw that coming, but I honestly did not. I put it in my contract. I said, must kiss numerous gorgeous men consistently. Love is a lot of ways the franchise of the show, because that is what all the characters are looking for. And then it was really important to us to find a way to kind of do a little twist on that. Those twists start to take shape in the writer's room. What about Emma and Hook? What do we want to do, like, in terms of their relationship? Kill? And... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. I mean... Please. You couldn't handle it. Hook sees an element of himself in Emma. You know, she was lost. She was a thief. Uh, you know, but he has a real connection with her. And that's such a huge thing for Captain Hook to you know, sort of lays cards on the table emotionally. Emma's a strong, smart survivor. Hook's a strong, smart survivor. We're pairing men and women um, that, that are a match in that sense and seeing the chemistry and the excitement. And I really appreciate the way the writers have done this. We take these characters, we bring them in here, we play, we match them around. It's also a sense of, you know, what can we get away with? And look, we talked to Regina. David, I, maybe he's paired up with Belle and she's like trying to make up for not seeing that gold was manipulating everything sooner and they can have a journey together to no, kind of find no, some no, that's that's good because you have the two people that gold you know kind of ruined both their hearts mr gold aka rumpelstiltskin is definitely the guy that no online algorithm would match with anyone Hook dies at the well, end of act one. well except the eddie and adam algorithm for us, what was really fun about this was saying, well, what if the Beast from Beauty and the Beast was actually Rumpelstiltskin? Make it work. The Beast girlfriend, of course, is Belle. When we meet her in Storybrooke, she's locked up for insanity. And yes, she is in love with a conniving dark lizard man who even scares Regina, but she's not crazy, just crazy in love. Belle, being this incredibly intelligent woman, she's the only one thus far who's able to sort of see beneath the surface and see the real man beneath the rumple. And we're really excited to let the audience see another layer and pull back another layer on that character. I'll sit up here. Before shooting a pivotal scene, Eddie and Adam like to go through it with the actor. This is Emily okay. DeRaven, who plays Belle. She's really, really trying to get through to him. That's exactly and right. And that's why he doesn't believe that somebody like you would him. ever love him. Yeah. And that's what you need to throw in his face. Or at anyone. Him. That's where I'm headed and still kind of obviously developing for the next, what, three days <laughs> before us. I go up there. Cool. But yeah. Very cool. We're excited to see yeah. you bring her to life. What's happening is we're turning something from a straight fairy tale into a little more modern edgy kind of situation. For us, originally, Rumpelstiltskin was Mick Jagger and Keith Richards rolled into one. We wanted that, you know, great rock star kind of uh, appeal with him, that danger, that sexiness. And Eddie Kitsis, our producer, said, make him a rock star. And that's what we did. It was all crocodile skins and uh, quite elaborate and very time consuming. And uh, all of a sudden, he became a rock star. Visual 2 Golf, take one. Make or mark. Skin Deep's got a special episode uh, for myself and I think for Emily. So I've had a couple of months to look around, you know, and uh, upstairs there's clothing, small as, as if for a child. Was it yours or, or was there a son? You really saw, you know, another side to, to Rumpelstiltskin that he wasn't, he was lonely. It was kind of representative of everyone's got a chance at love, and no matter how horrible or kind of repugnant they might be. And uh, this was Rumpelstiltskin's chance right there. Thank you. He, you know, caught her from the curtains, and there was that moment of him having this physical intimacy with someone that let Belle realize that, you know, she is right that there is more in there.
So he puts up these faces, these many faces, through his voices and through his idiosyncrasies. <laughs> and the only person who's ever been able to break through that was Bill. How you can see the man behind the monster, I will never know. I guess what I'm able to bring to gold, particularly, is um, to make you kind of wonder whether you like this guy or not. And that's what, hopefully, I, I, I've been able to do over the last four years. This is what he wants. He has to die, Val. No, no, he doesn't. There's still good in you. Please show me I'm not wrong. I don't think Rumpelstiltskin is a bad guy. I think he's struggling. I think he's like an addict struggling with an addiction. He's just got himself in this deep, dark hole of being addicted to power and magic. But as anyone who's ever loved a fairy tale knows, magic always comes with a price. Please, put the dagger down and let me explain. I thought I, I saw something in you, something good. Your true love is your power. I think there's a lot of strength that's been brought out in Belle. She was always obviously been a strong individual, but from their relationship, dealing with his sort of ups and downs with the dark side, the light side, the struggles, has, has even built her into a stronger woman. Please. No! Rumpelstiltskin, I command you to leave Storybrook. Oh, no. Please. I won't be able to come back. I know. I, I, I don't want to lose you. You already have. I'm afraid. <laughs> but don't give up on us, because you know how it is here. Nothing ever ends.